Good evening students. With today's lesson, I'll be showing you how to add a chart to your slide. So in adding a chart to your slide, you have two options that you can choose or you can use. We have You can use the option from the content placeholder here or you can go in on your insert, uh, insert tab and then you have and then you'll have the illustrations group, okay. So I'm going to start with the insert from my content placeholder on my slide. So when selecting on where it says insert a chart, you'll be given a dialog box. On this dialog box, you can choose the chart that you want to insert on your slide. So I'm going to start with the column and I'm going to click on OK. When you insert a chart, you'll be given or a column you'll be given an extra sheet excel sheet that where you'll be able to add all the data that you want to have on your chart okay so i'm going to start by typing on my excel sheet so on your excel sheet you have columns which are identified by the letter and then you have the rows which are identified by the numbers so when you're selecting the cell this block here we call it a cell, so a column A1, it's a cell A1. So I'm going to select on cell A1 and then type, so I'm going to start typing, this is the student's name, and then I'm going to move to the second column. You can make use of a tab key on your keyboard to move from one column to the next one, and then I'm going to type, and then on the second row, on the way it says category one, I'm going to type the student names. So I have Murato, and then on my second student, I have Nicole, and then I have Jeff. And then on the way test one, I'm going to type the marks that they got. So you'll notice that the moment I type on my chart, the information is already been updated. You can see it. So when I move to the PowerPoint one and then for the Rato and then on my exam, once you're done typing all the information that you want to have on your chart, you just close the Excel sheet. I'm going to close my Excel sheet and then I'll have my chart there. So when you insert a chart, always you'll be given an extra chart tool which consists of a design tab and the format tab. So when working with the chart, we have a design. So this design and the design here, they are not the same. So do not confuse yourself by applying the designs from here on your chart. The design for your chart, we will only apply them from this tab here. Okay. So our next video, I'm going to be showing you how to add the chart title, the chart element, and then all working with the styles also so on our next video i'll be covering those ones i'll see you on our next video